Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I'm back after a bit of a break. I just didn't have any projects that I thought were worth a video to show you guys. We've since done a few others, but today we are going to permanently screen in this porch. We've liked it so much that we've decided we'd, we just got to take the plunge and do this. Alex is back there taking down the temporary things while Ollie plays Minecraft on the Switch. This one's being much more help than this one. Um, but let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the floor plates that I'm going to anchor the bottom part of my screen to. I'm going to measure in between each of the posts back there. I've already gone and secured them. They were a little bit wobbly. And so I'll show you the wedges that I installed for each of those posts up there. We'll, of course, trim those to fit, and then we'll um, put, these, the, put in the top plates. Anyway, um, I'll make my first cuts here, and we'll get going. All right, here we go. First cut. Let's see if it fits. Okay, I'm gonna keep measuring in between each of my posts and cutting the bottom plates. Now the one thing I'm gonna do before we go and screw these things down is I'm gonna apply some stain to the ends because I've cut my pressure treated lumber. The end is no longer pressure treated because it doesn't penetrate all the way to the, to the core. So I'm gonna apply just a little bit of stain. We're gonna paint these things anyway. And this red mahogany stain will allow me to easily see whether I've actually got the stain on there or not. Okay, so that end is sealed. I'm of course gonna seal all the ends that I cut, even seal the holes that I drill. To do that, we'll just dip the uh, screw in the stain and insert it in there and the threads will pick up the stain. I'll probably show you that though when I get to it. So let me stain these two ends real quick. I also want to, I don't want these bolt heads sticking up. I want this flush. So I'm gonna come back now with a slightly larger bit and counterbore that so that this head will sit below the surface. Got to switch to a standard twist bit now because the brad point bit won't auto center in these holes. So we're going to go just a little ways. We're going to now use these holes to locate, we're going to drill through these holes into the concrete to locate our concrete holes. So let's go do that. So we're gonna run our bead of caulking down here. Um, what do I wanna use as a, like a straight, <laughs> I'll lay this across so I know where my limits are, where I gotta stay within. Yep. And we'll just run this down here. Okay. A little thin there. Got a little thin right there. And a little thin there. And a little thin there. And missed completely there. Let's get the very end here. And then we'll paint and seal it. We'll caulk this from the outside, of course. You know, on the joints. Mm -hmm. And then I can set it down. Okay. All right. Get it there. Here we go. Okay. Put it in. Okay. Bring this side back a tad. All right. I'll get the stain for the holes. Bring it back. And then bring it forward. Yes, these are spikes that we made into a hammer from the Alex's fifth birthday train video. You can go check that out. Okay, put them in. You got a clearance for your socket or whatever you're doing. Okay, so Alex and I 
have taken down the little strips that covered up the seams in these panels up here. And now I've got to use my uh, oscillating tool to cut this here. And then we're going to put the uh, two by four up there. Alex, will you bring me my uh, oscillating multi-tool, please? Okay, here you go. Thank you, Heidi. Once. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Multi-tool time. Okay, we got the first one, and now the second one up. I'll do the next ones here in a minute, but it's the same, so you don't need to see that. All right, I've got my cap strips here stacked on top of each other, and the center point's marked, so now I'm going to drill them. Okay, now that I've got my cap strips cut, I'm going to go ahead and screw them to the posts so that I can then measure the distance for my top and bottom uh, cover strips. Okay, we're at a point now that we can start to put the screen on. I've got all my cap strips cut and drilled and painted. I'm gonna, I want to pull that one out. I want to leave two to three inches on this end to account for any non-squareness that is in the, because I know this framing's not square. Oh, here comes the screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hook? yeah, where's your little hook? Elk. Okay, let's try that again. All right, I'll just wrap it around here all the way to the, basically to the edge of the brick. Our whole porch here is only 22 feet, I think, so we'll have big enough gap. All right, we started again. So I'm going to go across the top every foot or so, and I will align the top, and we'll come back and do the side. All right, so far so good. All right, moving on down the line. Okay, looks pretty good. Oh, misfire there. One just fell out. Pull a little tighter right there, follow my lines. Pull this part here. Each of these posts, of course, is going to have a 1x4 cap strip running down to the center of each one. Um, I'm going to run two parallel lines of staples here, and then eventually we'll be able to cut it down the middle, so that should we need to replace one section of screen, it's easy to do. We'll simply pull the cap strips off, pull the staples out, pull the screen off, put a new section in. Now this is, I mean, it's nearly invisible, isn't it? Yeah. And once we get it pulled tight, it'll be even better. So this section here is pretty good. Um, I'm going to start now pulling it tight from top to bottom. Uh, like I said, I'll run two lines of staples down here sideways so that we have enough room in between to put in our cap strips and then eventually cut it in the future should we need to replace it. All right, here we go. First section, we got a fly on the inside. And now I'm going to run my second line of staples on the other side of this post and go all the way around and do it again. Two more times. You 
can imagine how that's going to go, though. So I'll be back when something else happens. Okay, I'll get the top one, then you get this post over here. Looks great, Bubba. And so that's how I screened in the porch. And now bugs and leaves and dirt can't get in. This is one of our new favorite spaces here in the house, where, or outside of the house. It really wasn't all that difficult. It's something you could certainly do yourself. Just don't be afraid to try. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.